Hello, welcome back. So today I'll be diving into how to integrate external tools or APIs into Langflow using components. So before you start, you have to first learn the Langflow. For me, I'm using it on my local computer. I just have to run this command and put the latest image and run it using the Docker. And it's on the port 7860. So after running the for me sorry this started so after running the lang flow you have to come into your browser right now i'm using arc browser and you type in localhost um, 786 then uh, you open your lang for ui interface so now let's create a new interface uh, no so sorry a new flow mm -hmm. let's go with a brown flow exactly and let's call a project land from uh, integration so i'm going to be teaching you like two things mainly uh, the first one is how to make a simple integration using land from the second one is where we will dive on how now we can integrate a, an external api or an external tool uh here's what we are going to do we are going to make a a, cast, a a component then a component will pull or will create an api request to a url a certain url it will get some data back then pass those data into a model to give a good output to the user so let's start by adding a component for making an api request you have to search into the components sidebar API request and drag it to the canvas. Uh, so now let's provide a, a custom URL HTTPS. Uh, for now, I'm going to go with catfact.ninja. Uh, sorry, I read that bad. Dot ninja f then fact. So. After doing this, you have to test your component by running or by building it here, by running the component. Um, as you can see, it's running. Okay. And then you have to see in the here in the output port, uh, the API response, so if it's getting the data correctly. Exactly. Now you can see our data. So after getting this data, as you can see, it's a JSON. Some things like the token, we don't need them. So you have to pass this json to return only the output that we want so let's use a parser component mm, okay so this parser component takes data or data frame and already we have our data frame here in the api response so we just have to connect these two uh -huh. then after we have to specify which part of the data frame that we want as we can see right now we want this result this is that so mm -hmm. uh, okay so we have to specify here that we want the result red run a component successful as we can see now we are getting only the fact and the length okay now after after passing well our 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 api response now we need to give it to a template uh, prompt template for making the template of how our prompt will be so that we can feed this to the AI to give back a uh, great and uh, great feedback. So let's continue by first making the prompt template. Okay, remember always to search for the components in the sidebar. So, okay. This is our prompt template. So we have to first connect the past text into our API into, sorry. So first of all, what we need in our API template, we need to tell the AI that the API uh, returned now API response. Hmm. Now we need to tell our model what it needs to do. So please uh, rephrase 
refers in one short, friendly sentence. Okay, now we need to save. After saving, you see that we get uh, the input to insert our API response. So we need to connect the past, uh, the one that we passed into the API response. Now you can see that it's receiving the input, if you can see well. So now since we have the this, we have this uh, prompt template, now we need to give it to an AI model. For me, right now I'm using OpenAI, but you can use others such as Gemini or DeepSeek. Uh, so let's continue using OpenAI. Okay, let me put it here. Let me drag here a bit so to make it look clearly. So in our input, what do we need to provide? We need to provide the prompt. So we need to uh, to connect the prompt to the input field of the open AI. Now we need to tell the AI what to do, like a, a simple message. Um, we can even use this one that we used here. Save. And let's give it back. And we select the model that you want to use, either the GPT-4, Mini, or any others. So you need to provide an API key. As you can see right now, I have used them as as variables. Uh, but you, you need to go to the platform of your AI that you want to use, and you create a, a secret key. Then you put it here. So after. After connecting to our open AI uh, component, now we need to give it to an output, a chat output. A chat output, this will help us that when we learn this canvas, so uh, when we run this project, uh, it will use that chat output to give us the data that we want. So let's use the chat output. Okay, now the chat output will be the model response, the one that open AI will give us. Okay. So after this, we have also to learn all the, sorry, uh, we have to run all the components and make sure that they are connected well. Yes. As you can see, you have to sometimes wait, like it's validating if the API key is correct or any others. Uh -huh. So after we complete this out, uh workflow you now have to run this workflow we go on this uh, in the top left uh, right corner we see the pre background then you use it we run there we have to run the form okay now as you can see it's giving us a, a correct uh, fact from the api request that you have made it's now taking it and analyzing it and rephrasing it into a good friendly way did you know that uh, you can even run it again to get more facts yeah okay so now let's dive into now how we can make uh the custom ones we without using the custom components how we can integrate our own apis into this one so this is how we are going to do it we are going to make a, a flow where we provide a username a github username of someone then it will fetch the info of that person analyze it and rephrase it and give us a short intro of that person and everything okay mm -hmm. so right now we have to create a custom component you can see here in, on the bottom uh, on the bottom left we have a button of how to create a custom component you just have to click this button and as you can see our custom component is already here so we have to go in the code section and we have as you can see there is already some uh, already there is some Code that were well there, but we need now to implement our own custom component. So, uh, for the sake of time, I have already uh, built this component, and I will be providing the the codes in the description. Uh, so let me just uh, 
copy and paste the codes that we go through them. Okay. So as you can see in these codes, first of all, we have to to go from from runflow.custom.custom component. We have to import the component. This helps us to create this custom component. And also we have to uh, the message text input. This will help us to enter that GitHub username, and the output will be the one that this custom component will use to return back the data from the API. So other things you can go and read. You have to specify the inputs. We have uh, we have to message your sorry message text input and the output. And as you can see here, there is the message text input of. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. As we can see, there is the username, GitHub username, the username to fetch, blah, 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 and the other output. The output is the GitHub API response and to dump the data. And this is the logic. Uh, as you can see, let me show you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So as you can see, our URL is here. This is where we are providing the GitHub API. So api.github.com slash user slash username. Now, when you make a, a get request to this API, it's where it will turn the uh, info, the GitHub user info of the person. So let's, we have to now to check and save. If it has an error, it will show you that there is an error. Then if it closes, it will mean that the checks have uh, run successful. Okay. Now we have to provide like a username. Let me use my username, but you can use any other. Okay. Then let's learn this component. As you can see, it's learning. Uh, we have to wait. Okay. Then when we come to the GitHub API response, we can see the info of the user. As you can see here, the result, login, piece, ID, the avatar, the public repos, the followers, and others, uh, the company, the blog, and everything. So now, after doing this, as you can see, it's also a JSON. You have to pass it as we have as we have done for the API request. Let me simply copy this parser, copy paste. Yeah, I used control or command based. Depends on the operating system you're using. Uh, copy and paste. So uh, after we have to connect this API response uh, to the to the data or data frame. Let's do it. It's the same way as we have done before. Mm -hmm. Now let's learn this component. Uh -huh. As you can see, also in the API response. We need only to get this result. So that's why it's the one we have provided here. Let's see the result. As you can see now, it brought only the info about the user. So after doing this, now we have to put it in the prompt template as we have done before. Okay, let's create a new one in the prompt template and put it here. Mm -hmm. Now we have to provide our prompt, the API, the, the API returned, API response, and then we tell the model what it needs to do. So analyze this data and return a user friendly intro of this person. Let's save and we tell the our we have to connect now the result from the parser to the prompt template like before. Uh-huh. Then we come back to our open AI. Uh, so let's do it open AI. Okay, it's here in the workflow. Now we have to specify the input. Uh,
Okay. Now we have to specify the prompt to the input of the AI. Like this, we have to connect them. As you can see, now it's receiving the input. Mm -hmm. Now let's type something like um, make an intro GPT and you provide your open API key. Then after we have to make sure that it's running. Uh, uh, okay, let's wait. Okay, as you can see, the flow has built successful. Now we need to provide the chat output. Mm -hmm. Now we have to connect it to our model response. Now, after doing this, we have to go back and run this flow in the pre -cloud. Let's run the flow. Okay, as you can see now, it provides a good introduction for this particular person. Meet Peace, a talented software. As you can see, it puts the company, when he joined GitHub, how many public repositories the user have, and more info. As you can see now, we have integrated our own custom component using our own custom API into the Langflow component, component. So, thank you guys. So, you may like make uh, a self-review of this and try to do it to your own pace.